Bicol Express is a dish that is loved throughout the Philippines. It's absolutely beautiful, one of my favorite local dishes. It consists of like a really thick coconut gravy, a little bit of vegetables, some shrimp paste, and all that is brought together by deep pork fat. Unfortunately, the dish can get quite heavy quite quickly, so let's go see how it's made so that we can come back here in the kitchen and figure out if we can make a healthier version. We all have those meals that we can't resist. We know that they're bad for our diet, but we can't help but indulge. Sometimes we wish that we could have the same treat without the regret. I'm Erwan Yusuf, I'm in love with Asian cuisine, and I used to overindulge quite a bit. I've drastically changed my life and health by taking charge of my diet, and I'm gonna see if I can lighten up these traditional favorites to give you the flavor without the guilt. This is Lightened Up. It's a really hot day in Manila, Philippines, and it's about to get hotter. I'm gonna eat one of my favorite spicy Filipino dishes, and the chef here at Top Meal has decided to teach me how to do it, and I'm super excited, because it's gonna be so good. The importance of putting the coconut milk now is just you're waiting for it to cook down, draw out the oil, yeah. right? Yeah. And then the other one will be used more like a uh, finishing cream. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. This looks absolutely insane. Like, let me fish it out for you. But the chunks of fat that are just floating around this dish, that's what makes it so beautiful and so tasty. So all you gotta do is basically just take a big heap of that. A little bit of rice just to kind of help with the heat. I'm so scared to put all the chilies in my mouth. Mmm. Woo! I'm gonna have like natural lipstick after this. The fat is what gives this dish all its flavor and obviously the alamang or the shrimps that are in there. And the chilies, dare I say, kind of just like lighten everything up, but it's such a decadent, comforting meal. Go back to the studio and figure out if you can lighten this up. Delicious. So guys, I'm back in the studio with my coach Arnold. He's just kind of like trying to I have pump. To, have to look good in front of the camera, man. Pump up his muscles. This is the man I see more than my wife. And he's gotten me to a point I used to be kind of like a skinny fat. And uh, now he's looking like a grown man. All right, so today we're making a dish called, it's a riff off Bicol Express. Have mm -hmm. you tried Bicol Express before? I have. Bicol Express is a dish that uses pork belly, mm. a lot of coconut, shrimp paste, so really high in sodium, absolutely delicious, a favorite in the Philippines. Yes. But obviously those problems are quite clear. Lots of saturated fats. One portion brings you to about 450 calories per portion. Yes. And about 50 grams of fat, half of those being saturated fats. So our game plan today is we're making Bicol Express using langka which is unripe jackfruit, um, which is a great substitute for meats. Mm. And we're making the dish fully vegan. So instead of using shrimp paste for saltiness, we're using some preserved black beans. That should give us that same brininess for the overall flavor of the dish. So actually this dish is quite similar to what you would call a guinetaan lanka, which is basically jackfruit with coconut milk. And a lot of people will still say that there's a lot of fat. Yeah, well look, the argument is that anything with uh, that's high in coconut milk and coconut cream. It's very high in calories, very high in saturated fats. You need to have fat in your diet. When you look at the breakdown of foods, you have your protein, carbohydrates, and fats. A lot of people out there will presumably just eat carbs and protein and not have any fat in their diet and not realizing that fat is so important for regulating your hormones. But more importantly, it helps you reset your body. A lot of people haven't gotten their heads quite around, but as long as you have your macros set up, right, as long as your 30 to 35% of your diet is fat, and the rest is split between carbs and protein, then you're safe. Yeah. What are we doing here, man? What's this? All right, so I got a pan on, I got sauteing. some garlic, I've got mm. some ginger, and I've got some onions, just the, a little sauteing. Mm. Get those flavors out, those mm. aromatics out, and then what we're gonna add is the unripe lankat to the whole thing. Yes. So we've covered kind of like the basics of clean eating. What you said about vegetables in terms of finding what you like, do you think that applies to working out also? There's two schools of thought here. People think even if you don't like to do a certain exercise, just motivate yourself and just get through it or find a sport that you really love so uh -huh. that each time you do it, you don't feel like you're forcing yourself. What do you think? Well, I think it, it, you need to determine first, what is your motivation? What's the reason why you're training? If you look at the young guys out there now, they train because they want to get the girls, right? I train so that when I go out to the beach, 
I've got the six pack. Yeah. I have a really deep reason. You do. Yeah. You do. I just I, want to look like Zac Efron. You do. Though. Yeah. It's like you kind of look like Zac like like Efron, right? <laughs> right. No, I don't. <laughs> So Sorry. black beans are going in? Black beans, okay. Are love you, beans. Have you tried black beans? No, but I love beans. Give it a taste. Let's have a taste. Oh, See? that's so good. Right? So that's the only source of sodium that we're going to have in the whole dish. To that, we're going to add the first part, which is the coconut milk, mm. right? When people traditionally Delicious. do this dish, what they do a lot is they cook it all the way down until okay. all the fat that's in here yes. separates and becomes oil. Coconut milk and coconut cream is still very high in fat. So you have to be mindful about the amounts that you use in your dishes and how often you have it during the week. Because too much of it can cause heart disease, diabetes, it can lead to a whole host of different problems. And it has sugar. So you'll see how quickly it's brown already. Yes. And you'll see how it's the, the water content of the coconut milk has slightly evaporated. Okay. So at this point, what we can do is we can add our chilies. So eating spicy food can actually help bolster your metabolism. So green chilies are in. Cool. Now we go in with the coconut cream. Ooh, love it. Mix that in. That looks so good. So that's gonna go for five minutes, and then we're gonna add in some red chilies. Now this is completely up to you guys. Oh, dude, give me a go. Are you sure? Can I have a go? We, you got one shot at this. What? Forward, up. Forward, forward up. up. forward, up. Forward, up. Ooh, I'm so scared. Forward, <laughs> forward, no, no. <laughs> that's all good, dude, that's all you. All right, so this looks like it's about ready. So this, after all the changes that we made mm -hmm. and everything, we've basically cut close to 120 calories of the whole dish. Fantastic. So we're at a 323, and okay. we've cut the amount of fat that's in here in half. Beautiful. Because we're not using pork, right? Ooh. Unripe jackfruit, fantastic substitute for meat because it keeps its texture quite well. Did you say texture? Sexture. Sexture, I like that. The red ones. The greens are good now. Nah, dude. <laughs> I can't do it. I'll challenge you, though. I'll do it if you do it. One. 100%. One. Yeah. Okay. Let's taste it at first. The end. At taste the end. it at first. The end. Yes, yes. Not as, like, spicy. That's actually really good. Not bad. It actually tastes like that. Oh, my gosh. It's really hot, eh? <laughs> <laughs> We made it much better. If you still like to eat Beekle Express, that's 100% fine. This is just a vegan option for people who are looking for something lighter, and hopefully everyone tries this at home. Yes. Now that this episode is done, you are a man of your word, aren't you? I am a man of my word. Mine's so big. All right. Give me the smallest one, dude. This is small. <laughs> oh, you did it. Dude, I'm already sweating. I just had a little tiny. Do it. You can't spill. I feel the fire in my chest. Dude, the oh beans is sweat. Dude. <laughs> I feel like we should eat chilies right before we're here. Dude, is there like one? <laughs> <laughs>